Central Food Hall. Hillside Cafe and Juice Bar is a detox and smoothie place, so you drink your food. And Malingap Central Food Hall is uh, as an air-conditioned food park with parking and uh, open as early as lunchtime. Okay, but so now again, who wants to build their own businesses in the nearest of future? Sige po, game. All right. Okay, thank you. So this is what br brought you here. Tama po ba, sir? Okay, I just want to know. Anong industry do you want to be in? Like, for example, sir, kayo, what industry would you like to be in? Agriculture. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, what part of agriculture, sir? Um, animals or uh, fruits and vegetables, sir? What do you think? Chicken. Chicken. Sir, do you have a farm lot right now? Uh, no, I have no, but we will merge with my friend. Okay, you will collaborate with your friend. Very good. Okay, but back it. You know what? Um, when you go into business, the best thing is that you go down. Okay? When I say going down, you go to the source. Kasi po, kapag ka maraming restaurants, sa palagay nyo, sino ang yumayaman? Sa palagay nyo po, sino ang yumayaman? Pag dumadami ang restaurants, sino ang yumayaman? Suppliers of what? Thank you very much. Suppliers of what? Of food, of those food, of meat, vegetables, fruits, so on and so forth. Okay. Now, for example, you are a farmer. You don't own your land. Sinong yumayaman when you sell all your goods? You may ari ng land. Okay. Kaya mapapansin nyo, when you are landed, and if your business is in agriculture, more or less, in 200 years, your family will still be rich. Kaya kita nyo, yung mga, the, the old rich, what businesses are they in? Usually, agriculture. Kasi, again, ito ha. Nung sumikat ang mga baliwag, andoks, uh, free toking, uh, sorry, free toking, and uh, dokito frito, so on and so forth, sino po ang yumaman? Sino po ang yumaman? Who earned the most? Okay, Magnolia, the suppliers of those uh, meats. Sino pa po? Sino pa? What do you think? Of course, the owners of the livestock. Sino pa po ang yumaman? Yung mga roasters na ito. Sino ang yumaman? Ha? Sino po? Mga farm owners, definitely. Ang isa po sa mga yumaman yung nagbebenta ng uling. Because they are the suppliers of the uling. Every single day, you will need uling. So as you go down the food chain, so yan, sir, sinasabi mo nga, I don't own land, pero I have this idea sa agriculture. Yes, go ahead. Because every day, Filipinos will need to eat. Not from restaurants, not probably uh, anywhere fancy, but they will always need you. For example, ito. Do you know MVP? Who is MVP? Si Manny Pangilinan. What does he own? PLDT. What else? Meralco. Who? Si, huh? Metro Pacific Holdings. Okay, ano ano yung mga products and services niya? Usually, Ano po yun? Utilities, roads, water, electricity. Do you think he will go bankrupt anytime soon? No, because we need him. Guess what then? So as you go down, as you uh, do some foundations of life, you will always, always be in business. Guess what then? Habang tayo nakikipagpatayan sa retailers who are uh, involved in uh, selling through Facebook here. Meron po ba? Selling through Facebook, uh, online selling. Di ba ang hirap mag, makipag, ano, makipag, makipagbenta dun sa mga end users? Yung mga nakasulat na nga, 350 each. Magme-message sa'yo, how much sis? Hirap ka usap. <laughs> Habang nakikipagpatayan dun tayo sa taas, the people down, they don't need to deal with those uh, people. They deal with suppliers. They don't even have to market themselves. They don't have to do PR. They don't have to do online work. Because these people at the top, they do that for them. Guess what then? So if you have, ito ha. So sir, sir, you are in a very good industry. So I'm sure a lot of you have lands in the provinces. I'm sure. Pero ang tanong, ginagamit ba yan? I'm sure nabubulok yung mga yung mga bananas nyo doon. I'm sure nabubulok yung mga prutas nyo doon. Ito pa, nag-aaway-aaway sila yung mga nanay at tatay nyo tsaka mga kapatid nila pero wala sila lahat na papala doon. Gets mo natin. Pero dapat, may mapala na tayo since uh, starting today. So, sir, ito. Um, if you wanna go into chicken farming, that's good. Kasi po, 
in agriculture right now, ang tinatawag nila ngayon is contract growing. I will hire you, sir. You bring me this much chickens, you have a sure buyer. You will not go down, uh, you will not go out of business anytime soon. So, ganun din po. Blue Ocean Strategy, anong ibig sabihin nun? Go to where the market is na hindi masyadong alam ng tao. Who has empty lots here? Taas ang kamay. Empty lots in their provinces. Meron po ba? Empty farm lots na walang, hindi ginagalaw. Okay. Ito ha. For example, kambeng, goats. We know na medyo mahal ang goats right now. Not because there's no demand, but because there is low supply. Ito ha. I just attended the hog and poultry show. Apparently, hogs and poultries, they have 80 million in stock right now for hogs and poultries. For cows, I think nasa 36 million. And that's enough to supply the Filipinos every day. But goats, 4 million. So ibig sabihin, there is a, a, there is a big demand but under supply of goats. So if you have an empty lot, go raise goats. You have sure buyers there. Okay po. So now, uh, I hope you brought uh, notebooks and pens with you. Pakitaas po, notebooks and pens. And if you don't have your papers and ball pens, please uh, bring out your cell phones. Because I will be giving you several ideas on how to start and expand your businesses. Okay po tayo? Okay tayo. Okay. So, first, let us define. Can, can you please read the two lines below? Pakibasa po. Three, two, one, and go. Expense versus investment. Okay. When I say expense, what comes to your mind? Yes? Gastos. Very good. And now, pakibasa naman yun na sa baba. Investment. Now, what is the difference between an expense and an investment? Okay, yes. Uh -huh. uh, investment creates uh, passive income and expense, it makes your uh, daily routine to pay for the utilities, for the services. Okay, very good. Ang investment, meron daw bumabalik na income. Alright? Or passive income. Ang expense naman, the way he did it with his hands is that papalabas. Ang direction po ng pera sa expense, papalabas. May bumabalik. Does something come back to you? Expense, ah? For expense. Nothing. For investment, yes. You invest, di ba? May lumalabas. Pero may something comes back to you. So now, which would you rather have? Expense or investment? Investment. Kasi po, ganito. This is what separates entrepreneurs from non-entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs, they think of every situation in their lives as opportunities for investment. Bakit? What did you invest right now to listen to me? Time. Okay, very good. What else? Of course, effort. Yung presence, physical presence. What else did you invest to go here? Did you pay for anything here? Okay, business opportunity. Okay, very good. What else? What else did you invest here? Of course, parking. <laughs> parking gas. Yes, that's an investment. But what will you get in return? Now, it's up to you if, if it's going to be an expense or investment. Now, ito po ah. Uh, I just celebrated, uh, well, I'm going to celebrate this August, my 10th year with PTTC. And during my first two years in PTTC, uh, actually DTI gives out ano eh, uh, loans to SMEs before, before, huh? And then I, uh, I interviewed one uh, person who was able to get that loan from the government. So he was able to get 300,000 in cash to uh, open his own uh, business. So okay, we trained them so that you know, the, the business will, go, uh, will do good. And then after eight months, I checked up on that person. So I said, sir, what happened to the 300,000 pesos? Uh, 300, pesos? sir. I have more debts now eh. Mas maraki raw siyang utang. So ko, bakit? Anong ginawa mo doon sa 300,000? Bumili ako sir ng TV. Pinalitan ko sir yung cellphone namin. Pinasimento ko tsaka pinapintarahan ko yung bahay namin. Nagpa-wifi kami tsaka cable. Question. Wifi, cable, TV, and uh, uh, pagpapaayos ng bahay. Investment or expense? Expense. May bumalik? Wala. So now, Sa palagay niyo ba, ma babayaran niya yung utang niya na 300,000? I don't think so. Guess what na din? 
So now, this is what separates us from entrepreneurs and non-entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs will always think of situations as investment or expense. Okay po, at this point. Look at the person to your right. Go. Is that person an investment? Look at the person to your left. Is that person an expense? Okay. From Robert Kiyosaki, the author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad. He's a financial mentor. He's a multimillionaire. Ang sabi niya, very simple. An expense is anything that can make you poor. Bakit? The direction of money is outward. Guess what natin? You will never see that money again. But in terms of investment, yes! You shell out money, but there is money in return or resources in return. Like for example, ito ha. Sending your kid to school, investment or expense? Ex- investment or expense? Ang tamang sagot depends on the student. Tama po ba? Yes! Guess what natin? Kasi ito, pero sa totoo lang, it's an investment. Oo, magkamin ng tayo, medyo magastos. It, uh, no, it takes up a lot of money. Tama po ba? In resources. Tama po ba? But again, once that person graduates, that person will be the one helping you out. Tama po ba? That person can be independent. Tama po ba? Unfortunately, for a lot of Filipinos, uh, when I go to the provinces, they don't think like that. I once went to a province, sa tinanong ko sa kanya, oh, investment or expense sa pagpapaaral ng anak. Sabi niya sa akin, Sir, dapat grade 6 na yung anak ko eh, but I make him work ano, in the fields. I can make money out of him now. So he's called an investment. So he didn't send the kid to school. Okay. If, he, if that kid doesn't graduate, what are the opportunities waiting for that person? Definitely limited. Tama po ba? He cannot, he cannot apply in a lot of uh, corporations because he didn't finish anything. Tama po ba? So, ano sinasabi natin dito? Ito, um, um, smoking, investment or expense? Investment or expense, smoking. Definitely expense. How much is a stick of Yossi right now? Five. Okay po. A five. Mura pa yan, ha? Okay, five pesos. Now, the average Filipino smokes how many sticks a day? The average Filipino smokes how many sticks a day? Let, oh, let's say ten. Okay, so let's say ten. Can you please bring out your, no, your cell phones with your calculators on? Sige po. Fifty pesos per day, ha? Times 365 days a year. Tell me how much it is. So 10 sticks a day at 5 pesos. It's 50 pesos. Seemingly small. But how, mi- how much is that in a year? Sige po. 18,250. Is it big or small? Is it enough to start a business? Yes. Yes. So you're actually burning 18,250 a year on expenses. Yet, you cannot send your kids to a good school because apparently, you don't have money. Tama po ba? Tama po ba? So, ito ha. Um, again, I have been uh, with PTTC for the last 10 years and this is what I experienced. Lalo na po in the provinces. They say they don't, have, they don't have money to fix their houses. They don't have money to send their kids to school. But they smoke 15 sticks a day. They drink. They have queridas on the side. And they have a lot of debts. At ito, question. Pwede ka ba magkasakit dahil sa sigarilyo? Oh yes, definitely. Definitely. If you die because of that sickness, who pays for the hospital bills? Who? The family members. Tama po ba? Ito ha, wala ka ng pinamanang pera, may pamana ka pang utang. Tama po ba? At yun, minsan nakakainis eh. Patay na nga. Inutanong ka pa. Gets mo natin. So, ano siya sabi natin? Again, please know the difference between expense and investment. So again, how will it become an investment? It all depends on you. What are you going to do with the knowledge that I give you right now? If you become richer, then yes, it is an investment. But if, if nothing happens because of this, it's called an expense. Nagsayang ka lang ng oras at effort. Tama po ba?
Let's put it. So now, I will give you 10 ideas which you can maximize to create and expand your own businesses. Okay na po ba? Oh, do you have your cell phones in? Okay po? Ready. Okay. Pakibasa po ito. The, sorry, the, yung mga iniskip ko kanina, it doesn't matter. It's okay. So, this is the first. Okay po? Pakibasa, 3, 2, and go. Okay, location is the first thing that you should maximize when creating and expanding your own business. For example, nasan po tayo right now? Where are we right now? Exactly, in where? where? This is actually Hall C. This is a uh, Hall C of PTTC. Look around you, what do you see? What are the opportunities right now? Okay, what are the opportunities right now? I am... I'm very much an entrepreneur. Okay, what can I see here? Potential business partners. Potential customers. Potential suppliers. Guess what natin? And in the brief communication that we had earlier, we may or may not be business partners in the near future. Because she just pitched me a very good business idea. Guess what natin? Okay. What is in here? In this area, of course, what I see are, uh, well, opportunities for education. And most of them are free, huh? So please check out the website of PTTC. There's a lot of uh, uh, free and uh, minimal fees for education. Nakakatawa po, like several months ago, I went to PUP. And I asked the students from PUP. And they, hold, uh, they held a seminar in their uh, audiovisual room. So I asked them, oh, Anong meron dito sa lugar nyo? What is in this area that you can maximize for your business? Sabi ng isang studyante, one student said, Sir, ang daming pangit. <laughs> There's a lot of ugly people apparently in this room. And then I asked that person, If there are a lot of ugly people in your area, what businesses can you uh, put up? Uh, yes, aha. Uh -huh. Makeup studio. Very good. What else? What a, salon, very good. What else? What else? If there's a lot of ugly people in your area, what businesses can you open? Ha, huh, yes? Oh, derma. Okay, very good. Ito po. Uh, after Yolanda, I went to Leyte to, to train people how they can rebuild Samar and Leyte after the storm. So I went there. A lot, uh, of course, there's a lot of mega people around. Kasi syempre, nasa lante, di ba? So I asked one participant, Sabi ko, what's here in this area that you could use so you could open your own business? Ang sabi niya sa akin, Sir, ang daming lubak. There's a lot of potholes in the area. So a lot of people laugh. Now, if there are a lot of potholes in your area, what business can you open? Kung maraming lubak sa lugar niyo, ano yun? Vulcanizing shop, what else? Of course! Huh? Huh? Gumagawa ng, ng roads, of, of, uh, a business that does roads. Or what else? Pavements. Okay, cemento. What else? Pintura, gravel and sand, so on and so forth. The opportunity is in the location. Kasi po, ito, one of the primary goals of being an entrepreneur is that you have to find a problem and give a solution. And in the Philippines, there's a lot of opportunities because there are tons of problems. Tama po ba? Kaya kita nyo, even if we are poor, even if we are third world, there's still a lot of multinational companies coming in because they see a lot of uh, problems that need to be solved. Kaya ngayon, true story, after two weeks, I went home na to Manila. I was chilling. Someone called. I said, sir, perfect idea, sir. Oh, why? I went to see the biggest pothole in Leyte. And there I place my vulcanizing shop. May balaking lubak, no? May truck, dumadaan. Brrr, bam, bam. Sira. Flat yung tire. Lapit siya. Sir, vulcanize. <laughs> Kasi again, you look at the problem, give them the solutions. Has anyone been to uh, Siargao? By any chance? Has anyone been to Siargao? Okay, very good. And when I say Siargao, what comes to your mind? Beach, what else? Surfing, okay? Uh, in the last five years, when you say Siargao, you think of surfing. 
Ito ha. Sir, saan ka nagstay? I just wanna know. Uh, dun sa, ano ko, uh, employee ko before sa bahay nila. Ah, okay. Within uh, General Luna or? General Luna. General Luna. Okay. Ito ha. I have been there because I, I was sent by um, DTI to monitor the business there. Ito, true story ha. If you want to go to a beach where you can chill, don't go to Siargao. Bakit? Ang lalakas ng alon. The waves are so big. You cannot just chill. People go there so they can surf and to take photos for Instagram purposes. And that's it. Pero, kware, you know, just wading, impossible. So ngayon, I met this local who owns a resort. So sabi ko, sir, what is your secret? What got you started? So apparently, this person has been living for 30 years in Siargao. And then, one person, uh, an American dude, approached him one day. Sabi sa kanya, hey man, the waves are big. Why aren't you surfing? Sabi niya, what is surfing? <laughs> he didn't know shit about surfing. So sabi niya, okay, I'll come back here. I'll bring my surfboard and I'll teach you how to surf. So true enough, bumalik yung Americano, taught him how to surf, and then told him, I'm gonna go back here in four weeks, uh, so in four months, please hold on to my board. So, okay, no problem. And then one day, an Australian came. Sabi sa kanya, hey man, the waves are big. Do you have a board I can rent? So yeah, this this is my board, 500 pesos per night. <laughs> you go use it. Then of course, uh, Australian, they, he surfed using the American surfboard. And then after which he said, hey man, do you have a place I can rent? I'm really tired, I need to crash for the night. Sabi niya, okay. He went to his house, told his kid and wife, oh baby, honey. You go to your Lola's house, huh? You go to your Lola's house in the next barangay. This is my house, 600 pesos per night. So, of course, the foreigner uh, liked his stay there. He brought in some more friends, and eventually, after several years, he was subleasing the houses so that the foreigners can stay. And after several years, and Girwanya, he was able to buy the houses. Of, the, uh, of, of his neighbors. And uh, after so many years, he was able to buy the whole lot. And now he has a resort. So, bringing back my question. So, sir, what is your secret? Tell me, there are no secrets. The waves are big. Can't you see? Again, number one rule is that wag kang maghahanap ng wala ka. Do not look for something that you do not have. Maximize all the things that you already have. What do you have in your area where you live? What do you have in your provinces? Maximize that. And ito, ha? When you are from Jensan, more or less, what is your business? Tuna, of course. Why tuna? Because Jensan... Okay, it's, tuna is a... Uh, sorry, Jensan is a tuna-rich... Uh, province. Or for example, when you say Batangas, what is in Batangas? Huh? Coffee. Robusta Barako coffee. B mostly businesses there offer those coffees. Why? Because apparently, yung lupa don, the land there is uh, rich in vitamins and minerals, perfect for uh, midland coffee. Okay, but when you say Baguio, Sagada, Benguet, Kalinga, Afayao, what do they have? Huh? Vegetables, because the land is perfect and the climate is perfect for that. So ngayon, ang tanong ko sa inyo, what do you have in your area? Ito. If your area has a lot of pregnant moms, like every year, pregnant moms, what businesses should you open? Maternity uh, equipment, mat mommy wear, what else? Pharmacy, very good. Oh, if, if you have uh, a lot of guys, like maton, mga siga dudes, what do you have? Uh, of, of course, open a gym. What else? Ba open a bar. Okay, ito naman. If you have uh, nearby schools in your area, like high schools, school supplies, what else? Sir, yes? Food business, yes, yung mga turo-turo. What else, sir? Okay, guess ha, ano? Computer shop, Xerox, photocopy machines. Ito po, true story ha. Um, in Hillside, like uh, a week ago, 
may na meet po ako kasi uh, I, I monitor the restaurants like three uh, weeks uh, sorry three times a week so there was one Thursday I went to Hillside and there's this old lady eating in Hillside po kasi medyo high end yung pagkain eh. so per plate siguro ang usual spend per customer is 550 average ah, average so there was this old lady as an old lady na nakachinelas at saka shorts lang so parang medyo parang hindi yata siya bagay eh. so I interviewed that person so sabi ko ma'am what is your business so sabi niya I own a Xerox shop a simple Xerox shop in UP Sabi ko, okay, how many machines do you have? Sabi niya, I started with one, I now, I now have 112. Dude, ito sabi niya sa akin, do you plan to franchise? Can I be your business partner? I'll bring it to UP. I have 3 million in cash. 3 million for photocopying from Xerox. Why? Kasi, where uh, are the Xerox machines based? Nasaan yung Xerox machines? Nasa school. Alam nyo, I kid you not, ah, ang bumibigay yung machines. The biggest cost, yung operating expense nila is maintenance of the machines. As in, every two days, kailangan minimaintain. Dahil sobrang daming, pinofotocopy. Gets mo natin? Huh? Kaya ito, ah, he has th- she has 3 million just sitting there in cash. So, yeah, we want to bring it to UP? Let's do it soon. Guess what natin? Disposable income because of the location. Guess what natin? I am originally from QC. I still, uh, well, I, I am now in Pasig, but uh, from time to time I go to QC. And uh, several years ago, like 15 years ago, I tried my hand in uh, fishing, supplying fish for the restaurant. So that's why I got into the restaurant business because my uh, first business was supplying fish from Navotas after eight months I closed can you ask me why can you ask me why okay from Quezon City to Navotas via Jeep 40 pesos uh, 40 uh, minutes going there if I take the taxi probably 16 minutes but the time by, by the time I get there what do uh, what fishes do I have Usually, the people from the nearby areas have gotten already the best ones. So I asked him, who got it? Sabi niya, the people from Navotas. They already got it. What do you have for us from QC? Nothing. Guess what natin? Kasi, ang lamang nila, tiga Navotas na sila. Tama po ba? Kasi fish is from Navotas. From the fish ports there. I am competing with the people from Navotas. And ito ah, the time difference is only 16 minutes. But what do they do? They don't sleep. They wait in the ports. When the boats get there, they buy it. Three minutes, done. Gets mo natin? So by the time I get there, everything's done. Gets mo natin? And ito naman. Uh, ma'am, thank you. I would like to commend you, ma'am. The, sabi ni ma'am, hello ma'am. T- yeah, yes, you ma'am, ma'am. Can you please raise your hand? Kayo ma'am, kayo po. Yes. Kayo, ma'am, with the glue, uh, blue glasses. Raise your hand. Okay, ba? Uh, thank you. I would like to commend. Sabi ni ma'am, selfie tayo. Artista ka, di ba? Wow, thank you, ma'am. Ha. True story. 2000, 2004 to 2008, I tried my hand in becoming an actor. Pero bakit? Bakit ako nakapag-artista? Because I was living in Quezon City. Bakit? I, I live in Timog area where ABS-CBN, GMA, TV5 are there walking distance. Guess what natin? Whenever there is an audition, I am there. Ito, mas pogi ka sa akin, tiga Davao ka, talo kita. Guess what natin? Because you still have to fly in. Tiga Bulacan ka, talo kita. Tiga dyan lang ako eh. Guess what natin? So, what am I saying here? Ito po ha. Can you please do this on your phones, on your notebooks? What do you have in your area? Give me three. Go. I will give you one minute to do that. What is abundant in your area? What kind of customers do you have there? What kind of employees will you get there?
What kind of businesses can you open there? Thirty seconds left. So I think we're done, right? Okay, po. You have ideas, na? Okay, tayo. Be good. Okay, uh, one final example before we leave location. I was here in PTTC. I was talking about location, and then there was one participant who uh, who chatted me up, who struck a conversation with me during the break. But sabi niya sa akin, sir, actually that the thing that uh, about Location is true. Because apparently, this guy was working in a bank before in uh, Rizal, in Cainta, Rizal. And he lived in Tondo, Manila. Okay, now, when I say Tondo, Manila, what is in Tondo, Manila? Mga, huh? Sobrang daming tao. Very good. Ano pa? Traffic. Where? Oh, tama. Anong klaseng tao meron sa Tondo? Mga siga, mga? Mga mamimili. Very good. What else? Okay, sabi niya sa akin, sir, ang daming tambay doon, ibang level. Okay, ang daming tao, sir. Daming tiga to. Do you? So, pagpasok niya doon sa opisina niya, it was 7.30. Sabi niya, oh, why aren't we setting up? We're, we should be open by 8. Sabi sa kanya ng manager, we can't open because our two guards has uh, bad stomachs right now. They can't report for work. Now, please find two security guards. If you cannot find a security guard, I will let you guard the place. But he was just 4'11". Lalaki na 4'11". So, yeah, no one will believe me if I become security guard. So, sabi niya, come on, you have to find a security guard or else. So, he went back to his place in Tondo. Sabi niya, oh, guys, who wants to be paid? You will have to, you just have to stand up Look around and look serious. And of course, and daming tambay doon. Sabi niya, sir, tatambay lang babayaran. Sige. So he got two of the biggest tambays in the areas. So gave them security guard uniforms and then they guarded the bank. And then the manager said, okay, those are good, huh? Give me two more so that they can go on duty uh, at night. So he went back to Tondo. Oh, who just wants to, to stand by and chill? They will be paid. Okay, so the tambays uh, raised their hands. And after two years, anong ginawa niya? He quit his job. He created a security agency. Yes, kasi ang daming tambay. Gets mo natin? Ito, one last pala. Uh, I was in CSB. Kasi apparently, ha, ito, apparently, Filipinos are best in carving, in, in food carving, yung food design, food decoration. Ito, ha, they, they win championships in France. And in uh, uh, Dublin, Ireland, like that. And uh, this, this October, they're, they, they're going to be competing in, I think, Geneva, Switzerland. So, tinanong ko, what is your secret? Sabi niya, sir, ang secreto dito, sir, mag-hire ka ng tiga paete. Okay, what is in paete? 
Laguna. Wood carvers. Ang ginagawa nila ngayon, ice carving. Ngayon, sinabi ng wood carver, anong gagawin ko? Yellow? Ang dali lang yan eh. Yellow lang yan eh. Kasi ang kinakarap po, kahoy, matigas yun eh. Ito ang kailangan niya lang gawin, bilisan niya kasi malamig. Guess mo natin? Dude, they can do like life-size um, um, uh, statues with their food. And every single year they win because of the people from Paete. So the secret weapon is not the food, but the woodworkers, the sculptors from Paete. Gets mo natin? Gets mo natin? So what is in your area? What local talents do you have there? Gets mo natin? Can we move on? Okay tayo? Okay. Can you please read? Can you please read? Okay. This is one of the most underrated areas of entrepreneurship. Who currently has a job in an office right now? Who is an employee of an office right now? Sige po. Come on. Okay. Thank you. Madam, uh, w- what time is the start of work in your office? A flexi time, but how many hours a day? Uh, no, you're a fl- freelancer? Papara po ba? Flexible. 2 to 11, so more or less 9 hours. Tama po ba? And what day to what day? Do you have a, like a, huh? Monday to Friday, so you have days off during Saturdays and Sundays. Oh, you work from home, that's great. And do you have vacation leaves? You have sick leaves? You have holiday leaves? No, pero you have uh, those two. The, the minimums you have. You have 13 month pay. Definitely. Ito pa, that is good. You're an employee. But if you are an entrepreneur, do you have sick leaves? Do you have vacation leaves? Do you have 13th month pace? What is your uh, work hours? 24-7. You don't wake up because you have to wake up early. You wake up because you need to wake up early. Gets po natin? Man, I've been, I've been an entrepreneur for 12 years now. The thing that wakes me up is the stress from work because I need to wake up and do work. Because if I don't do work, the business fails. Gets po natin? Ito, ha? Can you please write this down? Your business is a very jealous husband or a very, very generous, uh, a very jealous wife. If you will not spend time with that person, that person will leave you. Your business is a very jealous lover. Yun na lang, lover sulat nyo. Okay? Your business is a very jealous lover. Why? Bakit ko sinasabi yan? If you will not spend time for your business, someone else will spend time doing the things you do and that person will be competing against you. Guess what natin? Okay naman. Okay nga ito compete. What if you don't spend time on your business? Someone else will spend time more time than you, and that person will do bad things to your business. Packet. Example. When we were starting out in 2008, we hired a cashier. Apparently, this cashier has been working in the industry for 18 years. So I told her, Sige, uh, can you please do our finances, our day-to-day cashier work? And she said, okay, uh, I'm a veteran, so you can just leave me here. So no problem. I'll just report to you every day. I'll report to you every week and every month. You don't have to do, you don't have to check up on me because I know what I'm doing and I know more than you. So that is my fault. I trusted that person. I gave that person time alone, huh? With my money. Okay. After two years, after two years, I was just randomly checking uh, receipts because I was bored during that time. You know, I just wanted, oh, can you please show me receipts? You know? And I found out in a lot of receipts, there's a hole in the bottom, okay? A hole in the bottom of the receipt. So I asked him, what's this? And then the cashier t- tells me, I don't know, maybe there's a rat. Okay. So I checked it, you know? 1,800 is the bill. Anong gagawin niya? Kukuha pala siya ng masking tape. That person uses a masking tape. Puts the masking tape on the one sign, on the one digit. And then they lift it off like this. So the 1,800 is now how much? 800. Guess what then? So the 1,000 is his, uh, is hers. Guess what then? 
And then I told her, what made you do this? Sabi niya, because I was bored and I needed the money and no one is looking. Guess what natin? And ito pa. So what we did, kasi during that time, it was all manual pa eh. So what we did was to, was to automate everything. So we fired that person and we, uh, we got cash registers, POS. So yeah, there's a minimal human interaction. And then of course, again, our fault. We left it to the cashier. What do they do? Gagawin nila ito ha. I kid you not. Cash register. They will put sugar on the wires. So that overnight, the wires will be eaten by insects. So of course, masisira yung POS. Ano mangyayari? Sir, manual tayo ngayon ha. So if they, if they do manual, what will happen? Of course, sometimes they will not issue receipts. And sometimes ito ha, because I left them alone. Ang gagawin niya, Sir, senior ka ba? Are you a senior citizen, sir? So you have discounts, right? Okay, very good. Sir, are you a senior citizen? So you have discounts, ha? Ito, are you a senior citizen? But I will declare, ha, that you are a senior citizen. You would just have to pay half of the discounts, okay? And the half, the other half goes to me, okay? I will declare it that you are a senior citizen, okay? But you will get discounts, alright? Guess what natin? Because I left them alone. Guess what natin? Guess what natin? And of course, we know this for a fact. When Filipinos are left with money alone, it's subject to, you know, to falsifying documents, you know. Tapos ito, ito. Um, can you please write this down? People do what is inspected, not what is expected. People do what is inspected, not, is, uh, not what is expected. So please have time for your businesses. Tapos ito, corruption in the, in the, in, in the business. Anong gagawin nila? Um, we hired this one cook who was a refrigeration expert before. His prior work was, he was, a, he was working for a refrigeration company. So he fixed air conditioning, ref, so on and so forth. So he started as a dishwasher for us and then eventually he became a cook. Anong ginagawa niya? Ito. He will disconnect a certain wire in the air conditioning system. And then he will tell me, Sir, our air conditioning unit is broken, huh? 4,000 pagpapagawa, sir, ha? 4,000. Okay, so I don't know anything. I wasn't able to see how it broke, di ba? So okay, I give them 4,000. Uh, 4, Pag wala na si sir, if I'm not there anymore, what will he do? Reconnect. Guess what natin? And then he will just call the, the, his friends from the old company. Give me a, a, uh, give me a receipt, no? 4,000, okay? Because I wasn't looking. I didn't have time for that. Guess what then? So, ulit. Your business is a very jealous lover. So, please do not leave your business with others who you do not trust. Or even if you trust. Okay? Is it good? Hi. Are you learning so far? We good? Okay. So, yes, sir. Uh, that means we need to audit. Yes. We need to audit our business every day. Okay. Ito po. Uh, number one, of course, if you have a, you have if you have time to audit, then that's good. Okay. Okay. Naman. Number two, you set up a system na foolproof, but still you have to have time for that. Again, uh, ang sinasabi ko naman, hindi naman dapat lagi kayo nandun. Pero dapat, lalo na when you are starting a business, tutukan mo. Kasi kung hindi mo tututukan yan, may ibang tututok dyan. Guess what natin? Guess what natin? So, ulit. Yes, that's very good. You audit on a personal level. If you can set up a system where you can audit, uh, let's say, by computer or by financial statements, Excel, so on and so forth, then better. What, okay. what do you say audit? Like inventory system? Paano po ba? 
uh, yes more on inventory and yung cash in cash out more on the inventory and cash in cash out yes sir ang um, pwede niyo gawin again ha lalo na kung wala kayong time or if you're doing this on the uh, ano lang like racket purposes set up a system which i will be teaching you later okay so inventory cash in cash out yes there's a lot of ways income statement balance sheet so on and so forth yes set up a system like that so it's foolproof with or without you but the thing is you cannot just leave it all the time like that you still have to manual audit okay Bakit manual audit? Kasi po, ito ha. Um, in our restaurant, we have this uh, inventory system. Okay? We have to see what comes in and we have to check what comes out. Okay? Usually, itong ginagawa nila. Sometimes, ito. They declare, through our systems, ha, modern systems ito, they declare a lot of spoilages, wastage. Tapos sinasabi na, sir, nasisira eh. Bakit? Sira yung airco natin, so on and so forth. Okay. It's good kasi at least meron naman kaming provision for wastage. Pero anong napansin namin? We set up finally a CCTV. Ano nangyari? Ito ha. Hook. Pre. O anong nangyari dito? Kunwari na si Ryan Ref ha. Pero oo. Uh -oh. Pati yung gwardya meron. Tapos ano sasabihin ng gwardya? Sir nasira po eh. Pero meron na siya. Guess na natin. Pero ano, sa systems namin, malinis eh. Pero pag hindi mo kasi tiningnan, hindi mo malalaman yung totoo. Gets mo natin? Hanggang nakita namin sa CCTV. Ito pa, ang ginagawa nila, yung tinatago nila. Yan. Okay. Kasi ulit, if you do not have time, you are prone to these um, offenses. Gets mo natin? So, ulit, you have uh, systems in place, but uh, my suggestion is, please still have time to monitor your employees. Maliwanag po? Okay tayo? Okay. Pakibasa po ito. Okay, now um, my question is, are you healthy enough to be an entrepreneur? Sa palagay niyo po ito ha, Mar um, ang ratio po ng bata sa matanda na entrepreneurs, mas lihamak na mas marami bata. Bakit? Because they physically can. So a lot of uh, entrepreneurs naman, they drop out, not because it's not making money, but because they cannot physically do it anymore. So ito, several suggestions on keeping yourself healthy. Number one, tapay, sulit ito, sulit ito. Honestly, ha, are you drinking enough water? And when I say enough water, ito ha, during breakfast, did you drink two glasses of water? Honestly. Honestly. For a lot of people, yes. But for, uh, for the most part, I'm sure you haven't drank two bottles right now uh, of water as of the moment. So ito ha, ano ang guide? During breakfast, dalawang baso. During lunch, two glasses again. During dinner, two glasses again. Kailan pa yung dalawa? Throughout the whole day. Question, are you able to do that? Honestly. I don't think so. Guess what na din. Ito ha. A lot of you may experience this. You just had lunch. 2.30 p.m. Anong nararamdaman nyo? Meron ba kayong kutkutin, snacks? Okay po, that is not hunger. That is dehydration. That is thirst. Okay? So anong pag nakakaramdam kayo nun, inom na kayo ng tubig. Okay yan. Guess what natin? Ito ha. Papayag lang ako na yellow yung ihi nyo kailan? Sa umaga lang. That's it. Throughout the whole day, it should be colorless. Kung throughout the whole day may kulay yan, dehydrated kayo. Sure ako dyan. Guess mo natin? Ito, napapansin nyo, sa barangay nyo, maraming may hira, pero ang daming matataba. Hindi health yun. Ano yun? Ano yun? Salt retention yun. Dahil hindi ka umiinom ng tubig. Anong sakit nun? Sakit sa bato. Kidney problems. Guess mo natin? Ito, ha? Honestly, I, and I got this from my client from DOH. These are the top 10 killers of Filipinos. Number one, pakibasa. Sakit sa puso. Number two, ano yan? Hypertension. Ito. Stroke. Ito. Pneumonia. Breast cancer, so on and so forth. Ito po ah. Half of these 
are caused by our diets. The food that we put in our bodies. Ano-ano po yun? Heart disease, hypertension, stroke, diabetes, and kidney diseases. Yes, uminom kayo ng tsaa ngayon. But that's not water. Uminom kayo ng kape, that's not water. Uminom kayo ng juice, uminom kayo ng coke, that's not water. Hindi kasama yun. At ito ha, ang challenge ko sa inyo, during lunch, try lang ha, huwag kayong kumain ng kanin. Anong lasa ng ulam? Maalat. Kaya lang naman hindi nagiging maalat yan dahil sa kanin eh. Gets mo natin? Ito. Kapag ka maalat yung food mo, what will you get? Anong disease ang makukuha mo? Ano? Ano yun? Kidney disease. Pag marami ka namang asukal, dahil kumakain ka ng kanin, kanin na is one primary source of sugar. Para hindi maging maalat, lagyan natin ng kanin. Ano makukuha mo? Diabetes! Guess mo natin? Kagagawa natin yan. So ano siya sabi natin? You wanna be healthy? Pakibasa yung first part. Kapag sinabi kong diet, you don't have to eat less ha. Huwag niyong gugutumin ang sarili niyo. That is the first rule. You just, ito ha. You don't, uh, you don't have to eat less, you just have to eat right. And that's it. Actually, simple lang eh. Ayusin yung diet nyo, ayusin yung exercise nyo, and make sure you sleep well. Pag sinabi ko sleep well, it doesn't matter how long, basta it's well. Some people sleep for 10 hours. Some people sleep for 4 hours, but it's well. So what works for you is good. Ito ha, magkamin lang tayo. Bakit ang lalaki ng mga tiyan ng Pilipino? Sa totoo lang, magkamin lang tayo. Saan tayo pinakamarami kumakain? Dinner, bakit? We deserve this. Stress ako, pagod ako, I deserve this. Tama po ba? And ito, ito ha, ito po kasi ang danger. Okay, just so you know ha. Kumain ka ng marami ng dinner, kasi pagod ka. Good. Kumain ka ng marami, matutulog ka. Masusunog mo ba yan? Hindi. Anong tendency mo? Pagising mo, busog ka pa. Kasi you ate a lot during dinner. So what is the tendency? You don't eat breakfast. So what happens? Kakain kayo ng lunch, pero konti lang. Konti lang time eh. Tsaka busog pa ako eh. So what happens during dinner? I deserve this. And the cycle goes on. Eto ha, pwede natin i-reset yan. Which is great. Itong gagawin nyo. Hopefully, starting tomorrow, etong gawin nyo ha, kumain kayo ng marami ng almusal. Number two, pag kumain kayo ng marami ng almusal, anong tendency nyo? Hindi na kayo masyadong kakain ng lunch. Busog pa eh. Anong pagdating ng dinner? Konti na lang. Bakit? Busog pa eh. Guess mo natin? At ito, pag natulog kayo, kinabukasan yan, gutom na gutom ulit kayo, kakain ulit kayo ng marami. Gets mo natin? Isipin nyo po, kotse kayo. At isipin nyo rin, uh, you're gonna be doing, a, a, it's gonna be a long day for driving. So, what do you do when you do long trips? You load up on gas. Tama po ba? Gets mo natin? So, that's how it is with our bodies. If it's gonna be a long day, you load up on breakfast. Tama po ba? So yun, just try it. Yung katawang to, kala nyo madali ito. Hindi ah, joke. Okay ba? Next, pakibasa po ito. Information. And you thank God if the information is free. Ito pong, uh, the, the, the things that I'm sharing with you right now, it is, uh, it came from research in my several years of training here in DTI. I asked several successful and unsuccessful people, what they have done in their lives. And I came up with the top 10 reasons they maximized, uh, reason, uh, top 10 things that they maximized which made them successful. And ito, pakibasa ulit ito. The things that I'm sharing with you is uh, 10 years of research and uh, the things that I'm sharing with you right now, my experience as an entrepreneur and I, uh, and I actually studied this in my college. But how much did you pay PTTC, to hear me speak. How much? Free. So my question is, what are you going to do with this information? Huh? Work for it. And can you say, I apply. Okay, very good. So that it becomes an investment. Ba, 
Bakit? Ito ha. Economics. Economics ha. I'll teach you something about economics. Di ba sinasabi ng masang Pilipino? Mahal naman yan. Wala bang libre? Okay. Actually, kami sa Malingap Central Food Hall, we uh, host several free workshops. As in free ha. Ito. We make sign-ups available via eventbrite.com. Okay. Ito ha. Free workshops ito ha. We will open it up for 200 people. Tanong nyo sa akin ilan ang datating. Tanong nyo sa akin ilan? Tanong sa akin ilan? Ang datating 20%. So the sign-up is for 200, datating for uh, 40 max. Max yun ha. So tinatanong ko, ba't hindi kayo pumunta? Ano sasabihin nila? Okay lang yan, libre Guess what natin? Pero ito, there was one experiment. May bayad. 800 pesos for 200 packs. Ilan ang dumating? Tanong sa akin, ilan? Tila, tanong sa akin, ilan? 199. Yung isa, hindi pa nakarating dahil namatay talaga siya. Seryoso. As in, namatay siya nung araw na yun. Kaya hindi siya dumating. Bakit? Kasi information is not affordable. Guess what natin? Information is not cheap. So you praise God kapag ka mura mo nakukuha or walang bayad. Guess what natin? You have to see the value in good information. Kaya ito ah, true story ha. Alam niyo po ba ang nag-sign up for this event? In this event ah, the, my session right now, 1,000. Pero ilan yung dumating? Bakit? Ano sabi nila? Libre naman eh. Guess what natin? Guess what natin? Ito, magkami ng tayo. Marami sa inyo tinamad pa kanina. Pupunta ba talaga ako? Okay lang, libre naman eh. Maliwanag. Economics. So ano siya sabi natin? Kapag ka binibigay nyo lagi ng libre, people will take it for granted. And such is information. Kaya ulit, bakit mahal mag-aral sa Ateneo? Kasi it's not cheap. Gets mo natin? So, you praise God for things that are affordable and free. Okay. Pakibasa po ito. Talent. Now, at this point, I'll give you one minute to do this. Write down three personal talents that you have. It doesn't have to be big. You don't have to make money out of it. Pero sa palagay nyo, talent nyo siya. You're pretty good at it. Pakisulat, go. Three lang. Left. 20 seconds left. Okay. Sound check, sound check. Okay, Bob. Question, may naisulat kayong tatlo? <laughs> so again, it doesn't have to be big. You don't have to earn money from it right now. Pero you only have to figure out, you have to identify what are your strengths. Ano po yung mga uh, um, talents nyo? Why? Because that is the first step in entrepreneurship, knowing what you have. Kasi ito, um, nag-artista po ako noon and during the time na nag artista ako, I tried my hand in voice acting as well, and uh, voice acting has been with me for the last 15 years. It's about th uh, true story and trivia, and uh, apologies, I might be repeating this again. Ako po ang boses ni John Lloyd Cruz sa commercials. Yeah. So whenever you hear John Lloyd on TV, on radio, or uh, 
in his some of his movies, probably ako po yun. For example, uh, Biogesic. Ito, ha? Uh, boses niya po uh, ito. Ito ha. <coughs> Acting lang. Pagkat, tapos. Pero pag totoong headache ang kalahan tapusin, i-Biogesic na yan. John Lloyd Cruz po nagsasabing ingat. So ako po yan. So right to. Pero ito, isa sa mga negosyo ko yan. Isa sa mga income ko yan. And uh, I get paid for AVPs. I get paid for uh, doing animes as well. Alam niyo po ba yung Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Okay, for a time, for a time, ha, I was the voice of Rafael. Kailan si Rafael? Yung Red. There was this funny story ito, ha. Kasi apparently, when you do voice over uh, acting, you have to check the character and you have to uh, check the script. And then, whenever that character opens his mouth, you have to do, uh, do the spiel as well. Okay. Ito, there was no script. Ang nakasulat, the turtles jump over a cliff. And that's it. Okay? Pag talo ng mga turtles, si Raphael, he was moving his lips. So I had to improvise. So ang sinabi ko, Whoa! May gravity! Whoa! Hindi bro! Oh, lula! Oh. So I had to do that. But the thing is, ito, why was I able to penetrate that industry? Because that is one of my talents. I grew up uh, in our house with this setup. For example, my dad will go home after a long day from his work and then he will ask me, Oh, PJ, kamusta pag-aaral mo? And I answer back, Okay naman. Yung trabaho mo, okay ba? <laughs> and my mom would always scold me like, PJ, kanina ka pa sa TV, kumain ka na ba? And I will answer back, kanina pa ako kumain, ang sarap na eh. Ganun level. So I will always copy the voices of my parents. And then, uh, there was one time, Ogi Alcacid. Do you know Ogi Alcacid? By any chance? Okay. He went to our school because he had a concert there. So, sabi niya sa akin, oh, before I go on stage, uh, I want someone who will be introducing me uh, from backstage. So, sabi ko, I can do that. I can do that. Sabi niya, have you done this before? Eh, ito, when I was growing up, when I was, uh, whenever, whenever I was taking a bath, this is what, we'll, uh, this is what I will do. I used to, ano kasi, to, to watch wrestling, ganyan. So what I will do when I'm taking a bath is that, you know, copy the, the voices of the announcers or the wrestlers. Yung tipong, Macho Man Randy Savage, Hulk Hogan. Oh yeah, I'm ready to rumble, yeah. That's what I, uh, what I will usually do. So when Orgy Alcacid asked me, have you done this before? Sabi ko, yes. Sabi niya, where? Sabi ko, in the CR. <laughs> I have done this before in the CR. So sabi niya, okay, good enough. So before he sang, sabi niya sa akin, okay, oh, PJ, do your thing. So from the background, from the backstage, this is what I did. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Ogi Alcacid. Then he will emerge and then told me, sabi niya sa akin, ano to, wrestling? <laughs> Because that's what I knew, di ba? So, and, and again, that is my talent. And ito, that was, that, that was the moment I realized I could make money out of that talent. Because what he told me, this was 1996, ha? Sabi niya sa akin, oh, I have 11 more schools to go. Can I pay you 3,000 per school just so you could introduce me like that? Sabi ko, yeah, okay. 1996, man, 33,000? Yeah! For something I will do for free? Yes! Guess what then? Uh, trivia. I have uh, seven restaurants right now, but I do not know how to cook. Even to save my life. Ah. As in, for example, ito. Uh, isang beses, I was asked by my mom to prepare instant cup noodles. Ano yung mga nisin? Nilalagyan lang ng tubig. Ginawa ko, binuksan ko, nilagyan ko ng tubig. Eh, nilalagnat siya. Sabi niya, thank God, ha? binigay ko sa akin, thank God. At least, papawisan ako. Pag inom niya, biglang may plastic. <laughs> Kasi di ba, pupunitin mo muna yung plastic, lalagay mo yung panlas, di ba, yung flavoring. Eh. Even that, I don't know how to prepare. As in, ibang level. Ang kaya ko lang pong gawin, magpakulo ng tubig, and that's it. Okay. But, my business partner is a chef. Okay? At ang hobby niya ganito, Kunwari, mad, may, mad, mad dumaan siya sa isang karinderya. 
Maamoy niya yung usok. Nang niluluto, anong gagawin niya? Kulang sa time. Ganun siya. Dagdagan mo na ang playa yan. Ganun. As in talaga, yung talent niya was to distinguish ingredients from the smell. Anong gagawin niya? Anong hobby niya? He will go to your house, check the pantry, check the ref, and then tell you, oh, maglaro mo na kayo dyan, I will cook. Pare, wag. Hindi, ako na. Just leave it. Guess what natin? That is his talent. So now, what did I bring to the table? What do I do? Sabi ko, ikaw, you cook, and me, I will talk to the customers. Because that is my talent. So I'm like the PR and the marketing manager of our restaurants while he does all the cooking. So muli, can you please look at the, your papers and your cell phones? Can you convert that talent into a business? Is there a way you can use it in your businesses? What do you think? Kasi ito, please write it down if you can. Ito ha. If you love what you're doing, you will never work a day in your life. Kasi ang assumption, if you're talented, you like what you're doing. You're pretty above average in that talent. Sige po. Okay, ito naman. Pakibasa po ito. Pakibasa po ito. Experience. Yes, you have the talent, but my question is, are you using that talent every day? Because if you're not using that talent, that talent will go away. That talent will be rusty. At ito, ha? When you tell athletes that they are talented, they will be offended. As in, true story yan, ha? Pag sabi mo, alam mo, talented mo talaga. Oo lang yan, thank you lang yan, thank you. Pero masama loob niyan. Bakit? Tanong niyo sa akin, bakit? Tanong niyo sa akin, bakit? It's not talent that made them an athlete. It's the practice every day. Gets mo natin? Pag sinayin mong talent, ibig sabihin, automatic. Eh, hindi naman automatic yun eh. Gets mo natin? I had the privilege of being uh, being born with an athlete brother. Yung athlete brother ko, ano, uh, he was frail when he was growing up. As in talagang ano siya. Uh, sakitin, ganyan. And I was taller than him the whole time. Okay? As in, yung may natural gift of basketball na sa akin. As in, talagang, I can dunk without even practice. As in, uh, w- without, uh, with, uh, without even practicing, sorry. Without practicing, without even practicing. As in, matasa ko tumalon. Ganun level. I was, I was born to do it. Eh siya, ingit na ingit. Anong ginawa niya? From three years old, ang naging goal niya, I will be better than Kuya PJ. Ang ginagawa niya, siya yung nagpa-practice. Araw-araw. Alam nyo, first time niya ako tinalo, third year high school na kami. So, ibig sabihin, the whole time, talo ko siya without even me practicing. Tapos ngayon, ano na trabaho niya? Coach siya ng junior NBA. Pinapadala po siya sa Amerika as a coach and as a player to train other players. Tapos, ito ha, true story. Kunwari, ano lang, pagkagising, ang gagawin niya, mag-warm up yan, ganyan. Tapos may court siya sa bahay. Anong gagawin niya? 30 straight na 3 points kaya niyang gawin. Tapos ang gagawin niya, tatakbo siya anywhere. All you have to do is pass the ball to him. Anong gagawin niya? Kukunin niya tapos ititira niyang ganyan. And I watched one of, uh, uh, one of his games. Ano mo nangyari? 3 seconds left. Lamang ang kalaban 2 points. Anong ginawa niya? Tuma- tumakbo siya. Kinuha niya yung bola tapos tinira niyang ganyan. Boom! Pasok. Yeah! Sabi sa kanya, swerte! Sabi niya, hindi ako swerte. Pero nagpa-practice ako yung araw-araw eh. Guess what natin? Nothing is lucky. It is with experience. Guess what natin? Ito. Uh, minsan nagtataka tayo, bakit kailangan natin magbayad para mag-OJT? Dapat tayo yung binabayaran na. OJT to ha. Ah. I work for that company. Tama po ba? Alam niyo po, baligtad. Anong sasabihin sa inyo ng company? Bakit kami magbabayad sa isang taong walang experience? O di kung magbabayad kami, kukuha na lang kami ng talagang gusto mag-apply. Gusto natin? Tuturuan ka pa namin eh. Ikaw ang dapat magbayad if you want to learn. Kasi sa totoo lang, when you want to go into a business, iba po pag binasa mo, iba pag actual. Tama po ba? Tama po ba? Ito ah, true story ah. 
Magbibigay na ako ng isang example. Of course, di ba, alam natin yung accounting, I learned that from school. Pero pagbayaran na sa BIR, may iba sila. Iba to, ha? Just ito, ha? Siyempre, of course, I know. I, I read the, the standards. I read all the documents in starting a business. Di ba? What are the requirements and the doc- documents needed? Na, isa sa mga una kong binuksan na negosyo, car wash. So, ang ginawa namin, ito, just so we could comply, bumili kami ng fire extinguisher. Yung mataas. Ganyan, no? Tapos red at saka isa green. Just to be sure, ito yung 10 years hindi nag-expire. Pumunta sa amin yung BFP. Sabi sa, Sir, wala pa kayong permit at hindi ko pipirma niyan. Sabi ko, bakit? Unang-una, kung magkasunog, tutulungan nga namin kayo eh. Car wash kami. Gets mo natin. Pangalawa, meron kaming dalawang extinguisher oh. Dalawa. Ang sabi niya, bakit? Yan ba yung binibenta namin? Na-approve namin. Ah. Okay, okay. Gets mo natin. Ibig sabihin, kailangan sa kanila ka kumuha. Gets mo natin? Tinuturo ba yan sa school? Hindi. Pero makikita mo yan sa experience. Maliwanag. Maliwanag. Kaya po, if you want, ito ha, if you want to, to be a good doctor, kanino ka dapat natututo? Kanino ka dapat natututo? Sa isang magaling na doktor. Kung gusto mo maging magaling na mekaniko, kanino ka dapat nakikinig? Sa isang magaling na Mekaniko. Kaya ito ha, if you want to go into a business, mag-OJT ka muna. Bakit? Ito ha, pag wala kang experience in doing that business, you will gain the experience but you will lose the money. Guess what natin? Papag-practicean mo yung pera mo. So, ito ang dapat mong gawin. Get the experience and don't lose money by going into an OJT. Kaya naman, pwede mong gawin. May kaibigan kang negosyante. Tumulong ka dun, libre lang. Once you get the experience, you get to open your own business. Gets mo natin? Gets mo natin? Wag na wag kayong papasok sa isang negosyong wala kayong alam. At end you haven't practiced. Kasi bakit? Ulit, you will gain the experience but you will lose a lot of money. Maliwanag po ba? Maliwanag? Okay. One final example in this. Uh, there was one brand before that we opened in SM North. No? In, uh, in the food court area, ang pangalan, Barangay Bagnet. No? And then, uh, inis na inis ako sa SM dahil bago ka makapagbukas, ay eh, kailangan meron ka mo ng 3 months deposit at saka 3 months advance. Ang laki nun! Hindi pa nga kumikita yung negosyo mo, labas na yung pera. So sabi ko, ako kung magkakaroon ako ng ganitong negosyo, tatanggalin ko yun. O di, finally, nagsara kami <laughs> and we opened Malingap Central Food Hall. Anong ginawa namin? Hindi, walang deposit. Walang advance. Anong ginawa ng isang negosyo? Pumasok doon. Nag-operate. Bago sila, bago matapos yung contract na 30 days, umalis. Hindi namin alam. O ngayon, kumita sila. Wala kaming pinanghahawakan. Bakit? Ano sabi? Wala naman kayong deposit, sir. Eh. Gets mo natin? It was already there for a reason pala. Gets mo natin? At ito pang ginawa ng tenant na yun. Sinira niya pa yung mga gamit. Hindi namin mahabol. Wala naman silang deposit eh. Guess what natin? Kaya pala naglalagay ng gano'n ng SM para maski umalis ka, maski may masira ka, may matatanggap pa rin sila. Maliwanag. And they know that because of experience. Maliwanag. Guess what natin? Okay po. Maliwanag. Okay po, pakibasa ito. Pakibasa po ito. Technology. Miss Beth, ano po yung website natin na may free online courses? Okay, uh, PTTC, ang website po ng PTTC is pttc.gov.ph. Nandun po yung mga nakaline up pong mga training courses po namin. Yung online courses, ano yun? Yung ASEAN. Okay, sige, sige. Ano po yun? ASEAN, ASEAN SMA Academy, www.aseansmaacademy.com. Uh, okay po. Sige, technology. Ito po, ah. I would like to tell you na the greatest equalizer in the last several decades, ay ang World War. Diyan po lumaman sila Henry C., sila John Gokong Wei, so on and so forth, yung mga big taipans. Bakit? Sinabi nila, because of the war, everyone was poor. At kung sino ang pinakamasipag, siya ang magiging mayaman. 
Fair enough. Pero po, ang greatest equalizer in the, in the last two decades, tanong sa akin ano? Tanong sa akin ano? Internet or technology? Ito ha, magkamin ng tayo. Nagbabayad na ba kayo ng taxes kung meron kayong Facebook Marketplace account? Hindi pa. Kasi wala pang tracking ngayon eh. Wala pang solid na batas na nagbabawal o nagre-regulate ng internet uh, marketing online selling and buying. So anong sinasabi natin ngayon? Sino may Facebook account? Tasang kamay. Magkano ang pag-post mo sa Facebook? Kunwari gusto mo lang mag-share ng, ano, ng chismis. Magkano? Ha? L- right now, it's free. Papano kung one day, ginawang subscription service ni Facebook yan? Bago ka makapag-Facebook, 10 pesos a month. Magbabayad ka? Magbayad ka, hindi. Magbayad ka, hindi. Ako po magbabayad. Bakit? Nandyan lahat ng videos at pictures ng magulang ko eh. Naging photo album na natin yan. Gets mo natin? Yung memories ko of 15 years ago, nandyan eh. Pag hindi ko binayari yan, hindi ko ma-access. Tama po ba? So ngayon, magpasalama tayo. Libre pa yan. Kasi magkaamin ng tayo. There's a lot of promotions going on in your personal lives na hindi nyo binabayaran because of Facebook. At ito. Um, can you please write this down? Ito po. Coursera.org As in word na course. Tapos lagdagan nyo lang ng RA. Coursera. Parang yan. Coursera. C-O-U-R-S-E R-A dot org R-A Coursera dot org I-check nyo po yan. More or less, it's a free website for you to learn marketing, entrepreneurship, accounting, so on and so forth, international law, so on and so forth. Pero if you want to pre- premium, may diploma. Pero the thing is, ha- right now, libre pa siya ngayon. Ito to, true story. Uh, several years ago, Nag-take up po ako ng course dyan, as in certificate course on uh, entrepreneurship, which I finished in five uh, months. Ano siya, hindi, hindi ibig sabihin na online, madali ah, mahirap din siya. As in, there are required readings, there are required uh, videos that you have to watch. And before you could move on to the next video, may quiz na kailangan i-fill out. Okay. So mahirap din siya, challenging din siya. And then, ito, after several months nga, I went back to my province in Masbate para magpahinga for two weeks lang. And then, yung boy namin doon, yung katiwala ng bahay namin, sinanong sa akin, in Visaya, sabi sa akin, na ano kay Adi ka? Why are you here? Sabi I just need to take a break. Kasi medyo napagod ako eh. Sabi niya, anong ginawa mo? Kung nag-aral ako pero online. Sabi niya, ano? Hindi, hindi, hindi mo alam. Basta nag-aral ako online. Ah, ganun ba? Sabi niya kasi ito ah. Kasi nag-take ako ng metallurgical engineering eh. Sa Kursira. Ba? Oh, okay. Nag-take din siya nung online course. Bakit? Anong ginagawa niya po? Naglalakad siya papunta sa uh, internet shop sa may amin. 40 minutes. Lalakarin niya yun ha. Tapos imbis na magbayad siya ng 12 pesos per hour, anong ginagawa niya? Ida-download niya yung videos. For half an hour. Okay. So ang binabayaran niya lang 8. Tapos ginawa niya yun every week for 5 weeks. Anong ginagawa niya? May computer kami, yung hindi laptop eh, as in yung PC sa bahay, tapos doon niya aaralin, tapos bago niya i-download yung next, sasagutan niya yung quiz, so on and so forth. And during that time, meron pang chat group eh. Pwede mong i-email lahat ng mga enrollees. Sabi sa kanya, parang you, ha- you always have perfect scores in the, in, the, in the quizzes. Do you want to apply in our company? Sabi niya, where is your company? It's a meatpacking district in New Zealand. Sabi niya, if, if you're interested, I could go there and interview in, your, in person and then fix your documents. We'll go there for two weeks only if you want. But if you don't want, I'll send you back. Then you go work here again in the Philippines. Abaw, di siyempre, he discussed it to me. Kasi iniisip ko, baka scam eh. Diba? Pero mukhang okay naman. Ito na, finally, lilipad na siya sa Auckland, New Zealand. I kid you not. Ang pangalan niya si Ipong, he was never been to Manila, ha? Never been to Manila. Mas bate, biglang Auckland, ganong level. At ito, so pinatira ko muna siya sa amin so that he could speak English. So sabi ko, oh, whatever you do, ha? Whatever you think, speak in English. So ginawa ko, nag-basketball kami. Sabi ko, whatever you do, ha? Speak in English. Pag-ikot ko ganyan, PAM! Biglang tinamaan siya ng siko, siko ko. Sabi niya, agoy! 
Sabi ko, English. Sabi niya, a rouch. Tapos ngayon, I kid you not. Ha? Ngayon, nagtatrabaho na siya sa production line ng meatpacking district sa New Zealand. Because of Coursera.com. Magkano binayad niya? 8 pesos per session per week per month. Guess mo natin? Libre yung mismong course. Ang binabayaran niya lang yung internet. Maliwanag? So ngayon, we have the same program. Ano yun? ASEAN SME? Ano yun? Okay, wait, wait. Ahala. Ito pa, please write this down. Uh, this is the website. There are free online courses on business finance, org development, HR, uh, management, so on and so forth. Ito po ang uh, website. www.asean Apo, yes. Mm. ASEAN-SME-Academy.org Ito po. Lastly, before I leave this, who has LinkedIn accounts here? Taas ang kamay. LinkedIn accounts. Okay, very good. Sino pang wala pang LinkedIn accounts? Okay po. Ang advice ko sa inyo, magbukas po kayo ng LinkedIn account. Kasi po, ang LinkedIn, parang Facebook, pero puro negosyo. Puro trabaho. Kasi ito ha, kunwari, gusto, you want to go into business sa Facebook. Anong gagawin mo? Uy, kumusta ka na? Anong balita? Ang daming etsebureche before you go to the meat of the conversation. Pero pag LinkedIn, diretso na. Meron kang supply ng ganito? Magkano ba yan? Guess mo natin. Where you can find business partners, suppliers, and customers there. Okay? So if you want to go into business, open a LinkedIn account. Maliwanag? Okay. Sir, yun po. Ang daming suppliers doon. Ang daming customers doon. Ang daming, di ba? Solid doon. Okay po. Pakibasa po ito. Pakibasa po ito. Like time, this is one of the most underrated resources that we have in the Philippines. Who has Instagram here? Tasa ka may Instagram. Okay, very good. Question. Ito, ito. Napapansin yun to. I'm sure. Likes and comments, engagements, do not necessarily reflect sales. Tama po ba? Ang dami mong engagements, wala namang bumibili. Guess mo natin? Pero ito, pag kinausap mo yung tao, more likely bibili sila. Kasi po, in the age of digital technology, nakakalimutan natin sometimes that human relationships are still important. Kaya ito po, pakibasa ulit yan. Pakibasa po ito. Networks. Ito ha. Especially in the Philippines, this is very important. If not, the most important. In the Philippines. Ha? Kasi pa pansin niyo. For example, nahuli kayo ng MMDA. For example, ano, uh, the e MMDA enforcers, get your license. What will you do? Mostly, the Filipinos will do this. May kilala ka sa MMDA. Baka pwedeng ayusin mo. Papalakad naman kasi yan laki Mayroon kakilala, sir? That's what we do. Nagahanap tayo ng kakilala. True story, oh. Ito. Um, this is from experience at nagkamali kami dito. Naka-schedule naka kasi sa online banking namin yung pagbayad ng bills, mga utilities namin. Meralco, Wi-Fi, um, landline, so on and so forth. And... Sino who has a, an online account here? Tasa kamay. With automatic payments. Tasa kamay. Okay, very good. Usually, a maximum niya 12 months. Tama po ba? Diba? Pwede mo schedule for the next 12 months. For one year. And hindi namin napansin, naka 13th month na pala. So, hindi ko pala siya na renew. At ito, dumating yung line man ng Meralco, puputulan na kami. And ito ha, we cannot afford not to have electricity kasi may pera naman kami. Okay naman eh. Pero puputulan na. Sabi namin, naku, shucks! Para to? Ito po ang nangyari. Yung staff namin na, yung staff namin na accounting and purchasing, pumunta. Rod, Rod! Bukas na lang. Magdideposit ako, promise. Sabi ko, paano mo nakilala? Boyfriend yung dati ng ate ko eh. Rod, bukas na. Guess mo natin? Guess mo natin? We were saved by that person who knew that person. Guess mo natin? 
Lalo na po sa Pilipinas. Dahil ang ma- mahalaga sa atin, not numbers, but relationships. Tama po ba? Tama po ba? Kaya nga po ito, lalo na po sa probinsya, galit, galit, sila, galit na galit sila sa Picos Machine. Galit na galit sa ATM. Bakit? Hindi sila ba, pwedeng makabag, makaawa eh. Hindi nila pwedeng pakiusapan eh. Uy, kailangan ko na talaga ATM eh. <laughs> so networks. Usually, ang magkakaibigan, sila nagiging magkakapartner sa negosyo. Kasi wala naman nagsisimula ng negosyo na magkaaway eh. So ito, this is just a reminder. When you have your friends or family members as business partners, look out for several things. Number one, have you worked with that person before? Not all friends are good business partners. Not all relationships are good business partners. Not all f- members of the family are good business partners. So, one reminder is that, have you worked with them before? And number two, are they good workers? Kasi bakit? Hinire mo yung best friend mo as co-founder. Mapapansin mo, delayed pala siya magpasa ng requirements sa kliyente. Paano mo papagalitan yan? Hirap. Pansinin nyo, who has a family business here? Taas ang kamay. Meron po ba? Family business. Sino may tindahan yung pamilya nila? Taas ang kamay. Okay. Sir, napapansin nyo, minsan yung mga kamag-anak nyo kumukuha ng walang sabi-sabi. Yung mga tindahan. Asawa, kumukuha ng sigarilyo, hindi nagsasabi. Bakit? Okay lang yan. Guess mo natin. Babagsak ang negosyo nyo, not because of yourselves, but the people with you. Guess mo natin. Guess what happened? One of my earliest uh, businesses, when I was still in college, I used to design shirts eh, and print it out and sell the shirts to companies, to orgs, to basketball teams, so on and so forth. One business partner was uh, my best friend, si Brian. Hiningi ng kliyente on a Thursday yung shipment ng shirts. Tuesday na, the next week, wala pa rin. Dinidesign niya pa rin. So sabi ko, pare, ano ba, ano ba klaseng trabaho yan? Ang sabi niya sa akin, ginulpi ka nung grade 2. Sinong romes back sa'yo? Ako, di ba? Ako, di ba? Ba't mo ako sinisigawan? Sino ba ako? Best friend mo ako, di ba? Yes, best friend kita. But this is work. Tama po ba? Guess mo natin? Ito. When business is good, everything is good. Lalo na when you are uh, when you ha- operating your business with your wife, with your husband, with your brothers, with your family members. But when business is bad... Awkward conversations over dinner. Tama po ba? Hindi na kayo attend ng reunion. Hindi na kayo attend ng business party. Bakit? Galit-galit eh. Tama po ba? So please, pick a really good business partner. Kung kaibigan mo siya, have you worked with that person? Kaya maganda, office mate mo na naging kaibigan mo eventually. Okay naman, office mate mo na naging business partner mo because you know how to work with that person. Okay po? Okay tayo? Okay po. Ay, sorry, ito muna. Ay. Okay po. Pag- Ay, shucks. Anyway, pakibasa ito. Pakibasa pa ito? Now, marami pong ways we can get investment. And usually, ito ang excuse, ah, number one excuse of entrepreneurs in the Philippines why they can't open their own businesses. Wala raw silang pera. True naman. But the thing is, na- na-check nyo na ba ito? Na-check nyo na ba ito? Na-check nyo na ba ito? Na-maximize nyo na po ba ito? So on and so forth. But pera agad ang iniisip nyo? Ready na ba yung business plan nyo? Ready na ba yung finances nyo? Alam nyo na kung paano bibenta yan? Paano pag malugi? Anong game plan nyo? So anong sinasabi natin? Usually ang iniisip natin, kapital agad. But may concept na ba kayo ng negosyo nyo? Sa inyo ibibenta yan? Magkano kuha nyo supplier? Magkano suggested retail price niyan? Alam nyo na? So ang sinasabi dito, before you ask for money, give me a business plan. Guess mo natin? At ito, good news for us is that through DTI and through DOST ay nagbibigay sila ng investment uh, assets. Uh, through DTI, we can ask for loans through SBC Corp. Ang SBC Corp is a small business loans. They could give you as much as 2 million in loans. Ha? 
At ito pa, good thing. For example, your business needs equipment. At medyo cutting edge yung naisip nyo. You could ask for an asset loan, ha? Asset loan for as much as 2 million pesos. At ito maganda. Three years to pay, you will only pay on the sixth month onwards, 0% interest. So, ibig sabihin, tumatakbo na yung negosyo nyo, hindi pa kayo kailangan magbayad ng loan. At ito, 0% interest. So, ano sinasabi natin? Ang hinihingi nila ng mga banko, what is your bus- uh, where is your business plan? I need it. Kasi bakit? Utang yan eh. Wala namang magbibigay sa'yo ng libre. Tama po ba? Guess mo natin? Um, I am involved with Kapatid Mentor Me program, Go Negosyo. And we mentor existing entrepreneurs, and uh, we give them how uh, we give them ideas on how they can better their business ideas. And there was one time, I kid you not, I was in Quezon. So pinay present ng business person itong business plan niya. Sabi na isang judge, oh shut up, shut up, wag na, wag na, wag na ako mausap ng iba. I will fund your business. How much do you need? How much do you need? Alam niya Shark Tank. She Shark Tank niya, ganong level. Bakit huwag na raw ikwento? Kasi we may get the idea eh. Baka raw kalabanin pa namin eh. Kasi anong hinihingi niya? Business plan. I want to know if your business will do well. Kaya ang tanong ko sa inyo, before you ask for money, where is your business plan? Maliwanag. Maliwanag. Kasi ito totoo lang. Kayo, maglalabas kayo ng pera sa isang taong walang business plan? Hindi rin eh. Maliwanag. Mangungutang naman sir eh. Babayaran kita. Ang tanong, Patingin sa business plan mo na mababayaran mo ko. Guess what natin? And lastly, pakisulat na lang po ito. This is the tenth. Pakisulat po, passion. Passion. Can you please write down three things that you are passionate about? Bayaran kayo sa hindi, gagawin nyo. Again, it doesn't have to be big. You don't have to make money out of it. Hindi nyo siya, pa, hindi nyo siya kailangan gawing negosyo right now. Pero anong tatlong bagay that you would love to do the rest of your lives. Go. Sound check? Okay po. The reason I ask is that, pakitingnan nga po, can you make money out of it? What do you think? What do you think? You can? Is there a way you can make money out of it? Ito po. Uh, in Maligap Central, uh, last April, someone emailed me. Sabi niya, Sir, can I perform in your food hall? So sabi ko, okay, what do you do? Sabi niya, Sir, I do spoken word and I sing with my ukulele. Okay, fine. So, sabi ko, can I please meet up with you so we could discuss the event in detail? May dumating po, and I kid you not, I kid you not. May dumating doon, ngongo. So, sabi ko, kasi, hindi, I'm sure hindi siya yun. 
Ngongo eh. Spoken word? Magpo-poetry? Mag-yuyukilele habang kumakanta? Ngongo? So, so hindi ko pinapansin. Tapos kami lang yung dalawa, nandun. So sabi sa akin, Tarpinje? <laughs> yes! How do you know my name? I emailed you. Bo? Okay. Ikaw? Ikaw? Tapos ito ha, kinuwentuhan niya ako mga 40 minutes. Sorry ha, pero konti lang yung naintindihan ko. Alam mo kasi, sir, anong, 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 paano kaya ito? Sabi ko, wait. Tapos kinat ko siya. Sabi ko, wait. Sure ka ba kayo mo mag-spoken word? Sabi niya, sir, try mo lang. Napupunuin ko tong bugong lugar mo. Okay, fine. O di sige. Kung pupunuin mo yung bugong lugar ko with customers, then fine. Finally, spoken word night. Nag-ano lang ako, nag-observe. Nagsaspoken. Okay pa. Sino nakakaalam dito ng spoken word? Okay. Ito po yung very millennial, very young way of uh, doing poetry. Okay? Pero medyo, ano siya, parang spontaneous siya. Okay, anyway. So nagsaspoken word siya. 20 minutes into the set. Ito pa, wala ako naiintindihan na. Pero may dalawang tao umiiyak. <laughs> ramdam na ramdam nila. Pasaan ko, okay ito ah. Ngayon, ito. Pagkatapos noon, o di umiyak sila. Kumanta pa siya. Marami pang naiyak. Sabi niya, nakaka-touch daw. Ang galing, ang galing daw. Pero sa akin, hindi siya magaling dahil nga hindi ko maintindihan eh. So ngayon, kinausap ko siya. Eto ha. Sinabi ko, sa dinami-dami ng talent, sa dinami-dami ng industries na pwede mong pasukin, bakit spoken word? Bakit songs? Tapos sabi niya, I don't have a problem with it. Why do you have a problem with it? Gets mo natin? Wala nga akong problema dun eh. Bakit mo pinoproblema ako? Gets mo natin? Bakit? Ano siya sabi niya? Ito yung gusto kong gawin eh. Wala kang magagawa. Tama po ba? Gets mo natin? And no one is stopping that person from doing the things that she loves to do. Gets mo natin? You can check it out. Indigo Pie Poetry ang pangalan niya. Ngungo siya. Pero ito, tindi niya. Nakakadalawang boyfriend na siya. Ganong level. Yung iba kong friends, mas matanda pa sa akin, pero hindi pa ka boyfriend Pero siya, ito. Ganito siya. Lalapit sa tayo. Ang cute mo. <laughs> Gusto mo makipag-date sa akin, no? <laughs> Malandi pa! <laughs> so ano siya sabi natin? Bakit? That person never thinks of herself as handicapped. Bakit? I love what I'm doing. I don't have a problem with it. Why should you have a problem with it? Guess what natin? Kung gusto mo isang bagay, walang pipigil sa'yo. If you really want to do that, no one is standing on your way. If there are people, they'll stand beside it. Gets what natin? So my question is, are you willing to put in all the hours so you could be better in your passion? Do you really want to do that? Yung nakasulat sa inyo? Do you really want to do that? Ipaglalaban nyo ba yan sa mga magulang nyo? Ipaglalaban mo ba yan sa boyfriend mo? O sa asawa mo? Sa girl... Sa Girlfriend. Kasi kung hindi, that is not passion. Guess mo natin? Kasi pwede pala siyang palitan eh. Hindi ka pala passionate about it. So why should you do it? Maliwanag. Maliwanag. Okay po, last kwento. My wife is an artist. Uh, you, can, oh, you can check it out. It's, uh, her Instagram page is Life After Breakfast PH. When, uh, when she was growing up, all she wanted to do was to paint. Sabi sa kanya ng mami niya, huwag ka mag-paint, walang pera dyan. Nung parao naman yun, oo oh, talaga, wala, wala nang pera eh. Pero ngayon, tanong nyo sa akin, nasan siya? Tanong nyo sa akin, nasan? Tanong nyo sa akin, nasan? Okay. Ngayon, nasa Manila siya, pero mamaya pupunta siyang Bacolod because she has a workshop there. She, th- she teaches uh, watercolor art. And in August, she will be in LA for a two-week tour on watercolors. She doesn't teach mostly Filipinos, but she teaches internationally. So, ang tinatanong sa kanya ng nanay niya, sino nagpapondo ng mga watercolor set mo? Sino magpapondo ng, ano mo, ng flights mo? Sabi niya, art. Guess mo natin? Kasi pinaglaban niya yung art. Kasi passion niya yung art. If you really love what you're doing, again, you will never work a day in your life. And you will find a way for it to sustain you. So, my question is, anong nakasulat dyan? Kung wala ka pa nakasulat, think some more. Guess mo natin. Kasi I would like to tell you 
that entrepreneurship is not for everyone. Bakit? Willing ka mawala ng 10,000? Willing ka mawala ng 20,000? Willing ka mawala ng 100,000? Kasi po ah, sabihin ko sa inyo, entrepreneurship is hard. Harder than finding a job. Kasi bakit? Pag nagkapera ka at lumaki ka, you will employ people. Tama po ba? At pag nag-absent yan dahil masakit yung chan, binri ka ng boyfriend, problema mo na rin yan. Tama po ba? Dati nun, ang kailangan mo lang problemain sarili mo. Pero ngayon, lahat ng tao. Tama po ba? Ito, true story. Last na, last na. Sa totoo lang, technically, technically ha, pag magkadengge yung anak ng staff ko, kailangan ko ba siyang bigyan ng pera? Technically, nasa bylaws ba namin yun? Hindi. Wala sa kontrata yun. Pero nagkadengge. Ano sabi niya? Sir, kung di ko, di ako makakuha ng pera, hindi ako papasok. Magiging problema ko yun. Tama po ba? Nangyari, to. Nag-cheat siya doon sa asawa niya. Sumugod yung asawa niya. Pinabaranggay pa kami. Problem, technically, problema ko po ba ang love lives nila? Hindi. Pero pag may barangay na pumupunta, problema na ko na yun. Tama po ba? So, anong dapat kong gawin? Kailangan ko pang pagbatiin. You see? But if you're not passionate about that, you will quit. Tama po ba? And I've been doing it for so long now. Maybe I am passionate about it. Maybe I really like this. Guess what natin? Kasi ulit, if you're passionate about it, ipaglalaban nyo yan. Malugi kayo sa hindi, ipaglalaban nyo yan. Maliwanag. Now, as I end, can I ask everyone to please raise your right hands? Raise your right hands, everyone. Tap the person to your right and then tell that person, you will be successful. Ayan. Mm -mm. Kaliwa naman po, tapikin mo na sa kaliwa mo, sabihin mo sa kanya, you will be my business partner. Ayan. Thank you very much for having me. I am PJ. Have a great day ahead. Thank you po. Ms. Beth, uh, any announcements? No one. Kuya, what's up? Who's the testing? Hello, test mic. I have one. I have one. Meron pala, okay. We will giving you the feedback form. Uh, Paki-rate na lang po yung seminar namin sa, as a whole. Then pag na, ano na po, pag na-rate na po, uh, paki-submit lang po sa akin in exchange of certificate. By the way, yung mag-a-attend po ng seminar for family business leadership, dito po rin yung venue. Pwede po kayo mag-stay.